You know the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, guess what? People do judge books by their covers, and they do it all the time. And people will judge your Kickstarter project based on the quality of your Kickstarter image. And yet, so many creators launch otherwise cool projects with poor Kickstarter project images. And so in this video, I'm gonna save you from making three of the most common Kickstarter project image mistakes so that people will judge your project as awesome by the image and throw a pledge your way. Prepare to launch in three, two, Hello fellow comics launchers. My name is Tyler James with Comics Launch, bringing you the mindset, strategies, and tactics to crowdfund your projects on Kickstarter and beyond. When working with creators inside my courses and communities, one of the things we spend a lot of time on is getting their project image right. When it comes to project image mistakes, by this point, I've seen them all. So on this video, I'm gonna share three Kickstarter image don'ts with you so that you don't fall for common mistakes that the amateurs are making, which is costing them clicks and backers. Kickstarter image don't number one is don't just use your logo as your Kickstarter project image. Now I get it, you love your logo. It's wonderful that you love your logo. You should love your logo. But know that your logo most likely means absolutely nothing to 99.9% .9 of your potential backers. I see comic creators launching Kickstarter projects with just the logo all the time and it baffles me. The beauty of the comic book art form is the marriage of words and pictures. Why rely on just one without the other? And because your project name, which usually has the title of your work, is directly under the image, a logo is usually redundant. As an example of this, here's an image that one of my students, Amelie Hutt, used for her series Angel's Power when she launched that on Kickstarter. Notice she has no logo at all, just an extreme close-up of her main character staring us down, and she rocked that project image all the way to a $24,000 launch. Kickstarter image don't number two is don't add Kickstarter branding to your project image. I see creators do this all the time and it drives me crazy. You absolutely do not need to brand your project image with a Kickstarter logo. Kickstarter is making millions of dollars and is branding itself quite nicely already. They don't need your help. Why dilute the impact of your image by sharing the very limited space you have with a slapped on Kickstarter logo? And yet creators just keep doing this. And even worse, many of them are using the old Kickstarter logo, not the latest on-brand Kickstarter logo, and you know who hates this? Kickstarter. At a recent presentation, Camilla Jang, Kickstarter's comics outreach lead, pleaded with creators saying, please, please, please do not stamp the Kickstarter logo on your Kickstarter project page image. She's one of the people in charge of picking projects Kickstarter loves, so if you're not going to listen to me, please listen to her. And Kickstarter image don't number three is don't just create one project image. Rather than locking yourself into just a single Kickstarter project image early on, it's worth generating three to five potential Kickstarter project image candidates before you launch and get some feedback on them. For example, one of my students, Frank Martin, generated two cool potential Kickstarter images and then sought feedback on them from his peers before launching his successful Kickstarter. But I also strongly recommend that even if you already have a strong favorite for your project image, you should still ask your fans for some input on which image to choose. Engaging your audience and inviting them to help you pick your project image will increase their buy-in for the project, will increase their awareness about the project, and it's incredibly effective project marketing that doesn't feel like marketing. And those images that you don't use, well, they're never a waste, as you can still use them for social media and in your email newsletter promotion throughout your campaign. Your comics launcher for today's video is to leave a comment sharing what are your Kickstarter image don'ts. Is there anything that you've seen creators do that drives you crazy? Let us know in the comments so we all can avoid those mistakes. 
Hey, thanks for checking out my latest video. If you got some value from it, I hope you'll subscribe to this channel so that you can get more mindset strategies and tactics from Comics Launch here on YouTube. Oh, and if you missed it, I recently did a companion video with three Kickstarter project image do's that you'll definitely wanna check out if you wanna make sure that your project image stands out on Kickstarter and gets all the clicks that your next project deserves. And I'm gonna link that up here somewhere. I don't even know. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see what you launch next.